Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Project Ozone. Last time, I, we finished up pretty much pretty all of Galactic Craft that we need craft to do still. Um, we went and bought two dungeons because we got the cargo rocket again. Um, um, and we finally got the tier 3 rocket. Tier 3, uh, completed all of the... Um, another aspect, the Dimension Quests line, and we also did the, uh, uh, the Mechanism Jetpacks. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I'm recording this directly after the last episode, because why not? Uh, um, so, so, yeah, today we are going to finish up the Flight Quest line, line and then move over to, to of Engineering, and get as much of that much of it as we can. So, yeah, so, let's get right into this. Uh, first thing we need to make is the ring of flight. So let's uh, look. Not right. Not. Wow. Wow. Combine ring and flight, and got right. Got right. Um, that is not right. Not right. So ring of flight. Flight. Uh, it's very expensive. Very because this magic. This magic requires another star. Another. Uh, so we need. Uh, let's start gold. Uh, we need redstone. We need what else do we need? A couple feathers, a diamond. Um, nothing too bad. And I don't know how many diamonds we need, so let's just grab a few. So let's make this magic core. Uh, we will learn that. And we need to learn this. We need to make a ring. I don't know that I have a ring already. Nope. Nope. So it is iron and then uh, gold nuggets, which we have right there. Um, you actually lose a little bit of EMC with that, so let's just grab some gold nuggets uh, from here. We'll make the ring, learn that, and we should be able to make the ring of flight now. Cool. So, uh, this guy uh, goes on the bobbles, and it's it's creative flight. Even though they're not wearing the Zavisio armor, uh, it is creative flight. So, there's that. Uh, switching between them is not recommended because you will fall like that. But, yeah, so we'll learn that. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat that up, and cool. So, there's the first quest. Now, we need to make an angel ring. Um, and it doesn't matter which one we do, um, it's all just cosmetic options, so I think I want to make the, um, angel ring of, I want the dragon wings, so it's leather, nether star, gold, and unstable ingots, so we need another nether star. Easy. Uh, we need some gold. One, two, three, four. And we need leather. And then the last thing we needed was the uh, unstable ingots. So we need diamond, two diamonds, and two iron. Um, now. A long time ago, we made the um, the the sigil, the pseudo inversion sigil, and that's what we're gonna use to make the stable unstable ingots, because it's better. Uh, it's dividing iron by diamonds, not diamonds by iron. So there we go. So it's just something like this: gold and then leather. Um, pretty much with the angel rings. Uh, by the way, the only difference between them is the cosmetic of what kind of wings they are, uh, and it just depends on how you make them. Uh, I'm going to make the dragon wings because I think, I don't actually know what the dragon wings look like. Oh, cool. Um, they look really kind of cool, uh, so I like those. But that is, again, creative flight. And yeah, another quest. Uh, so as you can see, all those other quests disappeared. We only need to do one, so, oop, all done. Greater and an epic. 
We'll throw that in there, and I'm just throw this in here just so it's a little bit easier to get, and we'll put the angel ring in there as well. So there we go. That is that quest line. Uh, now we need to make quantum battle suit. Uh, so the battle suit is not too bad, um, but there is two different versions of it. Uh, there's this. Oh, that takes the wyvern. Um, so we'll get there when we do that stuff. Okay, never mind. But yeah, so it requires upgrade tokens, which is Nether Star, and that ZBQ-7, which, if you remember, was expensive stuff. Um, but we need the enchanted version of this stuff, and that requires the Wyvern armor, um, Wyvern, which doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have, uh, EMC, so we'll have to make two sets of that. That's fine, though. Uh, we'll get to that later, then. Uh, so... Let's move on to the immersive technology. We have a lot of stuff here to do. Um, turbine stuff. I will do the big reactor stuff later. Let's look into the magnetic wiring. So we need cable. Um, so it looks like all of this. So it is low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage. Um, looks like the cheapest way is we need copper and a bunch of wool. So I believe we just need to craft this. We need one of each. We also need the copper wire, which we'll have to look into. So there is low voltage cable. Um, go ahead and learn one of those. Medium voltage. Might as well learn it, you know. And then high voltage. And the copper wire. Uh, that I don't know how to make. So how bad is it? It's a piece of copper and three wool. So we'll need another piece of copper. If I can spell copper. And sorry for the bass in the background. Uh, car driving by. There's the copper wire. So that was easy enough. Uh, we can get rid of this stuff. And a good reward bag. Okay. So what's next? Uh, we need carbide. Um, carbide is, I believe, coal. I don't know which way it is. If it's steel surround, I think it's coal surrounding steel. Uh, so let's see. No. All right. Well, let's look it up. Carbide. Ingots are tungsten surrounded by coal. So can we get tungsten? Do I have tungsten in here? No. Tungsten is one of these. Doesn't have EMC. So just need one. Surround it. And we'll get some carbide. Cool. Uh, we're going to get more, but I don't really need it, so another reward bag, more stuff. Um, that's, I guess it says right there, one coal, eight coal around one tungsten. So that unlocks magnetic tr power transfer, um, transition rather. So we need some transformers. Uh, let's see how bad these are. Uh, we need... So we need two cables of each, some iron. Uh, looks pretty easy so far. Uh, and then we need those copper things. The copper coils, I think, is what they are. Uh, what are you? Copper coils, yes. Do we have any copper coils? No. But we can get it pretty easily. It's just copper around iron bars. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this. I'm going to learn it, but we don't need any more, so that's cool. So we can make this guy, and then the high voltage, and that's all at once. Now these have EMC, they do. Cool. Hey, we got a giant chance cube. Uh, that's kind of cool. I will put that in here. 
Uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, those are fun, so we probably will do that a couple times. So next is, you know what, let's get the magnetic shelving, the shelving unit. Um, I have no idea. I think you can put items on this. Yeah, item storage, a variable size. Um, right click with the chest adds space. Shift right click to remove a chest from the shelf. That's kind of cool. Uh, and it's literally stone and iron bars. All right. Um, let's get some stone and iron bars. Do something like this. And there we go, shelving unit. That was an easy quest. We'll learn it. I don't plan on using a lot of this stuff. I'm going to craft it all just because that is what we need to. Um, they are slightly bugged, so don't use them. <laughs> uh, so we need turbines. We need wind turbine. This should be pretty, not wing. Wind turbine. Uh, so... Looks like we need these turbine parts. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of these turbine parts, which is fabric, which is silk mesh. All right, so this is going to be a lot of string. So we'll do something like this. Um, I believe we need two more of these to get the fabric. So it's literally just a lot. Isn't... Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, silk mesh is silk mesh is X Nilo. So let's grab another piece of fabric. What are we grabbing? Item fabricators. Eh, it's not that expensive. Uh, and then we're we're going to need some sticks. And let's take a look at. So there's a wind turbine part. Um, for this we need a piece of wood. Uh, plank and then wind turbine parts we're gonna need a lot of these so there is the small uh, the medium which we'll go ahead and learn all of this stuff because might as well and then the large and then we need just the normal wind turbine so this machine is some carbine, an alternator, and a small battery. Um, sulfur, copper, iron. Uh, sulfur, copper, and blue. Fingers were on the wrong place. Uh, iron, so small battery, like so. We'll learn that. And then we need the alternator, which requires a couple item magnets. Wow. Uh, this is complex, not difficult. Uh, we're gonna need redstone. We're gonna need copper coils. And let's see, iron lapis. So there's an item magnet. I believe we're gonna need another one of those. Uh, for the alternator and cool we have everything we need for that as well uh, I'll go ahead and learn it and now we should be able to make the wind turbine and claim reward so that does not have EMC uh, so I'll keep it on me for right now put that away and put that away so lastly we need to make um, for magnetic craft, we need to make the kinetic generator. Uh, this should be pretty easy. The kinetic generator requires carbine, copper coils, and iron. I think we can already handle that. So there we go. That was an easy enough quest. Let's put all the stuff that we can away. RF alternator generates electricity using RF. Wow, that's cool. Uh, so it's basically just uh, back and forth. And we've completed that section of this quest book. Uh, let's put those in there. And now it's time for the immersive engineering stuff. So we need to make a windmill. Uh, windmills are 
kind of cool, I will be honest, um, but not something I really want to, I, I really need to uh, get into. So we need to get some treated sticks. We'll learn those. And I believe it was, let's just get this. There we go, windmill blade. We need four of those around a piece of iron. So let's get a stack of iron and three more of these and we can make the windmill uh, now this goes on a dynamo I do believe uh, and that's how you get the power uh, I'm not gonna like I said I'm just gonna go through make all this stuff I'm not really gonna get into it because I don't really need to use it so who cares um, next is the kinetic dynamo uh, we need two of these so let's look up this. Uh, should be just kind of coils. Yeah, copper wire, coil, iron, and redstone. So I don't believe we've made the copper wire coil. Um, that's LV wire. So, nope, we don't have that. So copper. And we're going to need some treated sticks. Uh, so I believe it is just something like this. No, it's just a normal stick, isn't it? Uh, stick. Yeah, so there's the LV wire coils. Uh, we need a little bit more of that. So let's do that. We'll get the copper coil. We'll learn this because that's super useful. Uh, redstone and there's one. And two. Cool. Uh, easy enough. Now can we? No. Of course not. We can't put those back. <laughs> Why would I be able to? So uh, the kinetic dynamos allow you to kind of hook up moving things to generate uh, RF. Uh, the water wheel is the other thing for that. Um, and then thermonuclear, no, thermoelectric, not thermonuclear. Uh, thermoelectric generator requires some constantin plates. Thermo, there we go. Steel and then copper wire coils. All right, so let's just grab a bunch of those. Um, Constantan, I don't believe we have in there anyways. Um, cons nope, we don't have any Constantan. So luckily this is an alloy. Uh, how is the best way to get this stuff? Uh, so constant ingots are Copper and nickel. So let's get a bunch of copper. And let's get a bunch of nickel. Let's get a bunch of ferrous. Same thing. Um, and we'll come over here to our induction furnace and do that. And we'll get a bunch of constant. Um, let's get. A stack that's more than enough and now we need the engineers hammer and we can turn these we're gonna need 10 plates cool um, and then we're gonna need steel so a lot of this stuff is uh, pretty easy thermoelectric generator make both of those and there we go uh, so next is the water wheel uh, the water wheel is uh, similar to the uh, windmill works with the kinetic dynamo uh, let's go ahead and just put these in here for right now uh, and it is pretty easy to make um, it's just kind of complicated so water it requires some water wheel segments, which are just 
planks and sticks of treated wood. And then I believe it is, so we only need one of these. So water wheel is four of those around another plank. So one, two, three. Uh, and this is another way to passively generate electricity, or RF rather, um, through immersive engineering. Um, probably one of the better ways, to be honest, because uh, it doesn't really have too many like uh, limitations on it. And you can generally, you can max out at like 80 RF per tick. It's pretty nice. Um, Self-promotion, if you watch my uh, Feed the Beast Infinity, uh, expert mode, skyblock, all that fun stuff. Uh, I use those as power uh, for a good bit of passive power. But anyways, let's get to the squeezers. So we need four industrial squeezers and 10 light engineering blocks. And this is detection. So um, let's do the light engineering blocks first. Uh, we're gonna need iron mechanical compounds, okay. We're going to need 10 of these, so, oop, and I am out of iron. Uh, easy enough to get more though. So there is 10 of those, and then we need industrial squeezers. Uh, so this is to make the squeezer, uh, which is a big multi-block structure. Uh, immersive engineering has a bunch of uh, multi-block structures. Uh, the squeezer is just being one of them. So we need pistons and cactus green as well. Um, and this one will, uh, it, I believe it just takes seeds, squeezes them into seed oil. I could be wrong about that, but like I said, I don't really care to make these things unless uh, we get to the achievement book and it wants us to. Um, we only need, what, four of these. So we need two recipes of this. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Um, so do we have the manual? Yes. The engineer's manual, just to kind of talk about it. Um, let me see the note. Um, simple machines. Nope. Um, construction. Multi-block constructions. Mm, yes and no. That's not quite what I wanted. Um, generators. Diesel generators. Uh, so in order to get that, you need biodiesel, which requires industrial squeezer and a fermenter. Uh, as you can see, it's um, you get plant oil with the industrial squeezer, and it tells you how much plant oil it gets, and then the plant oil is fermented. Um, no, fermenter is another way to do that, to get ethanol. And then in order to refine plant oil and ethanol into biodiesel, you have to have both um, into a refinery. So it's a big complicated system that makes a actually a fairly decent amount of power um, but it's super complicated and yeah uh, unless you have automatic farms going it's not really worth it but next it wants us to make the fermenter so we need four fermenter blocks um, and then I think it's gonna want us to make those liquids so if it does then we'll do it but otherwise so it's the same thing except uh, we need lapis we just need to put that in there so one two three four and there's that uh no next it wants us to make the refinery well make all the stuff to make the refinery so let's throw a lot of this stuff away and we need heavy engineering blocks. We need three of these, um, sheet metal blocks, and then steel scaffolding. So um, heavy um, steel scaffolding. 
I don't know how to spell scaffolding. There we go. Um, I don't know what the difference is there. I guess it's the same thing. Uh, we need steel rods, which have EMC, so let's do that. And we need to make just a little bit more so we can make some fences. Ooh, a little bit of a freeze there. Uh, so let's do that one more time, make more fences. And just some more steel across the top, makes the steel scaffolding. So there's that, we can actually just learn those and throw them away. Uh, sheet metal blocks, we need 12 of those. Um, and I believe it's just the normal ones, so that's iron plating, which does have EMC. So uh, let's, I got rid of the hammer. I forgot. So there's an iron plate. So let's grab a bunch of those. And we can't do it in there. So um, if this ever happens, it's kind of weird. Uh, get a normal crafting table. I believe this will work. Because um, something else is overriding the recipe. But if you do it here, uh, so you see empty cells from nuclear craft. Don't really care about those. But if you hit this arrow, it will switch. And we get the sheet metal blocks. Luckily, they have EMC, so we'll learn that. And we'll get just a stack because why not? And make sure it knows about it. So we need three heavy engineering blocks, and that's it. So we need electrum and then steel. We just need three of these, so we need two recipes of this. Uh, now we still need Electrum. And there we go. So those still don't have any EMC. But hey, we don't really need to do it. Um, and then the biodiesel generator. Uh, this is kind of what it's leading up to. So with the squeezer, the fermenter, and then the refinery, you make biodiesel to use in the generator. So we need 14 heavy engineering blocks. All right. So we need 10 more of those. So we're going to need a lot of steel. Um, immersive engineering is very heavy on steel. So we need... 10 so there's the 14 heavy engineering blocks um, and then what do we need we need three generator blocks and five radiators so radiator block um, 14 there we go uh, so we need five of these uh, so water steel and copper so we need three water buckets, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Cool. Uh, and then lastly, the generator blocks, which is kinetic dynamos. We need three of these. So we need the two kinetic dynamos that we have in here. Might as well recycle them. Why not? I'm not using them otherwise. So there we go. And claim reward. So there we go. We have a lot of quests done now. Uh, let's clear out our inventory. And we'll take all this stuff. We'll throw this all into the ME system uh, in case we ever want to use it later. And yeah, so there is a bunch of quests done. Um, I think last thing I want to do uh, let's go take a look and see how close we are with the singularities. And pretty close, actually. Uh, let's take a bunch of this stuff 
and let's just take it all into our inventory and put it all in there yeah it takes a lot of blocks to get um, what we need but we're very close um, that's gonna still work while we go do some other things so the other thing we need to do is we need to get a few more hearts uh, we need 10 green hearts uh, let's kill these guys see if they drop any hearts I don't know how they're spawning to be perfectly honest because it's light in there but hey whatever um, so let's I'm trying to think what's gonna be the easiest way we could you know what let's go to another planet we have a whole bunch of dungeons uh, so let's get nine of these um, how is our oxygen tank we could use some more oxygen uh, and the only other thing that we need to do is get more fuel in there so let's let's go somewhere else um, we'll get some more hearts uh, that so let's load the fuel it should be pretty quick and we're going to take our enhanced charm of dislocation with us and pretty much once all of this stuff is done we'll be good to go um, I think the tier 3 rocket is done um, so let's go journey map let's go waypoints and Mars uh, let's edit this guy we'll tell it on on basically all of these Mercury and moon Mars I don't think asteroids matter so uh, we have one of the dungeons kind of marked uh, you know what let's just go with what we have um, actually let's just switch our tanks uh, so oxygen because these are both full so might as well just go with it and I will recharge those later if we want so uh, let me see where we can go um, yeah, we have plenty of fuel. Uh, so, in this version of Galacticraft Planets, uh, which is an add-on, by the way, uh, there's not much beyond Mer uh, beyond Mars. Uh, they do. Uh, there's other planets. There are other uh, dungeons. The, like the all the other plants do have dungeons they do have bosses in said dungeons but there's not much else to it there's not going I think there's a couple more schematics that you can get but for the most part there's not really anything um, and then the big thing is so we can't go to like Neptune or Saturn or Jupiter but uh, I believe we can go to Jupiter's moons Io, uh, Europa, Callisto, uh, or at least some of them. So there's certain areas we can't go. There's the asteroid belt we could go to. Um, otherwise, Pluto is another planet we can go to. Or we could go to Mercury slash Venus. Um, let's go to Pluto. And see the cold it's not really a planet anymore so let's go visit them um, and basically there's not much the bosses are kinda simplistic 
So let's go to Pluto. Hopefully this doesn't crash on me. Um, so Space Lander, Invalid Thermal Protection. So we're going to take damage kind of constantly because we don't have thermal protection, but we do. Ow. Alright, so let's grab our rocket and our other stuff. Um, I don't know why we have invalid thermal production. I don't believe there's any thermal. Uh, let's just look at Galacticraft. Uh, there is. I don't see any other types of like thermal protection. Titanium. Dash. Yeah, I don't know what it wants us to have at this point, but this is Pluto. Uh, there's not much here. Uh, let's set a Pluto. We'll lock that one. So yeah, we have slowness because we're cold and we're going to continuously take ticks of damage. Uh, so this might not have been the best place to come, but we have our rocket. Uh, I don't know why, because we have the thermal protection. So let's take it all off. I don't know why it's not working, but yeah. Um, Pluto looks a lot like the moon, to be honest. Uh, later versions of these mods uh, it looks a lot better. But gravity is super light here. And you know what? Let's just go home. Uh, so that wasn't going to work. So basically what I'm trying to do uh, is kill a couple more bosses. So I can get a couple more hearts. Oh, we have more hearts. Never mind. Never mind. Crisis averted. Uh, we need... So there's nine. We need one. We need three more hearts. So let's get um, Wither Skulls. Uh, put that back and we'll burn those up. Let's throw that in there. And Wither Skeleton Seeds. I don't see us needing more Terra Steel. So let's come over here um, we'll switch these out and let's uh, go ahead and break all this stuff and yeah we'll put those in there We'll plant them, let them grow. And everything should be good. So um, let's put all this stuff away. And I think it's like, how do we make these it's like that? So if we get one more set, we can make uh, three withers, we'll get some soul sand, uh, let's see we need 12 for three, it's going to make 15, that's fine, and withers. Cool. Uh, let's go to the mining world. Uh, grab my crossbow. And shouldn't be too much of an issue. So let's go kill a couple withers. Uh, we'll get a couple more hearts. 
and everything will be nice and simple so let's come over here I don't know why Pluto didn't work how I thought it would but whatever so boop, 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 boop. and there's the first wither uh, I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow because why not uh, as soon as he blows up Yeah, he's a little bit more dangerous now. Um, so we might not want to attack him. So we had two nether stars though. So let's let's try that one more time. You know, let's put him right next to a chance cube. See what that hat, what that does. Uh, so one, two, three. Ow. Whoop. Um. We need to get away. Whoa. Now he's teleporting. And this isn't good. Because he's really hard to hit. But we killed him. <laughs> yeah, that is... That is bad. Alright, so... Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, what's in the legendary bag? Anything worthwhile? Not really. I mean, it's all emc -able, so... Meh. Uh, let's... Open this up. Let's grab our... Transmutation tablet. Throw this stuff in here. And let's grab some jeweled... Let's grab a jeweled apple. And then we can put that back. So we'll go ahead and start building yet another wither. But before we do, eat this jeweled apple. Give us a bunch of health, resistance. And we'll stand back here. Um, so again, it's causing storms. And he's nasty. Um, but there is the last of the hearts that we need. Uh, let's grab our magnet. And we got the... Okay, we got the stuff. So let's get rid of the stuff we don't want. Like dirt and rutabagas and peanuts and all this bad stuff. And... Cool. Uh, let's go home with our additional hearts. Uh, we can now finish up the first quest line. Um, the last three hearts. So there's, I took two extra hearts because uh, I want to get ten containers for everything. Um, I realize I'm going to need a lot more, aren't I? I do believe I am. But we'll deal with it. Um, so the VCO Essence Nether Stars can go in there. We'll see what we can do. So I don't really want to kill more Withers, but we can go ahead and turn that off. Um, just for now. Experience goes in there. So we have a bunch of hearts. Um, so heart canisters. So yeah, they require the tier before it. Um, they always do. <sighs> so we're going to need uh, a lot more hearts. But we can at least get started. So canisters. Nope, we don't have any extra. So let's get 10. Um, we're going to need jeweled apples and necrotic bones. So let's just get 10 of these. And necrotic bones don't go in there. Um, can't I make these? Yes, I can. 
So let's get 10 of these. And we need red hearts, as many as we can manage. Um, luckily you can change, you can downgrade hearts, you can upgrade hearts, doesn't really matter. But there is 10 heart um, canisters. Uh, let's actually go ahead and put one on. And you know what, let's just make the, uh, let's make another yellow one. So we're going to need a golden apple. Uh, I believe it's notch apples, so two of these. So there we go. There's our 10 yellow hearts. And we need green hearts, but we can't make any of those yet, so um, we'll have to get more hearts some way. Uh, I wish there was an easy way to do that. We might just have to make auto spawner uh, and kill things. Honestly, stuff like this killing mobs like this is a decent way otherwise I think uh, we might go explorers uh, maybe mercury uh, I'll see if I can't figure out why there's the invalid stuff um, with our thermal protection but we have a bunch of reward bags to open up we have three basics ludicrite plutonium our horse armors okay that's all actually pretty good stuff uh, we have six good Spectre glass, titanium sword, blocks, iron wand, sulfur, sulfur. All right, let's get rid of pretty much everything we can here. And then we have seven greater bags, needle gun. We got this stuff last time lava generators, lava generators, cores, day blooms, dirt. Wow, a lot of really bad rewards. Because not many of those have EMC. Uh, and then finally we have one epic, which is a watch of flowing time, which unfortunately doesn't have EMC, even though it's from Project E. We've gotten a couple of those already. So, um, that is nearly done. Uh, sorry if you can hear some beeping. It sounds like, uh, <laughs> it sounds like people are talking to me on Discord. And, oh my god, this is so close. So let's finish this up, and then we will um, end off the episode. And there we go, we have a singularity. So this is not what we wanted. Um, but it will do... Just fine. Um, I will clean that up later. Actually, let's just you know finish cleaning up this part at least. So we have a singularity now, um, but the quest requires us to get. Oh, hey, we killed the wither a couple times, so we can get another reward bag. Why not? Ooh, it's a legendary. Forbidden. Um, okay, cool. EMC stuff. Uh, in fact, a dense energy cell which will power stuff for a long time. Um, so in order to complete this quest, we need to get a quantum entangled singularity. So entangled singularities require us to drop a singularity and an ender dust and cause an explosion. So... Um, let's get an ender dust. Um, yeah, so ender dust. This is just a pulverized ender pearl. Let's grab an ender pearl. Uh, I want to make sure I have the right one because there is the ender pearl dust from Portal Gun, which is not the same thing. So we'll pulverize this. Uh, alternatively, I do believe, if we look at the uses of this, we can also do Tiny TNT Redstone Torch and get one. But we're going to want two because it's useless otherwise. Um, now we are going to need our Creeper Statue, our Creeper's Trophy. 
uh, because this is the easiest way. So we throw these items down, right click him, and we get our entangled singularities. Easy. Um, now I'm going to grab, uh, let's get the dense cable or use some other stuff. But for the most part, uh, we are done with the alpha quest line now. Uh, we just need to finish up the hearts. And for the most part, that is just going to be a matter of getting a bunch of hearts. So yeah, that is, that is going to be the plan. Um, we need 10 green hearts. Uh, and, um, yeah, that won't be too bad. So we just need 10 more yellow hearts. Um, or 10 more red hearts. And then we can make the green heart canisters. Uh, we'll probably do this recipe. Uh, just because it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, we just need the hearts. So I am going to figure out the best way to do that. Uh, whether it's killing the uh, Gaia Guardian over and over again. Going to... Um, the Twilight Forest or going to another planet probably going to another planet we can go to a couple more planets we know where three dungeons are uh, we can go back to the moon and kill another boss there um, so we should be able to get 10 hearts pretty easily so anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here uh, we got a lot done uh, next time I think we're gonna start working on uh, the gym armor and then uh, we'll fin We'll do the gym armor, and then we'll finish up um, some of the immersive engineering stuff, the turbine, and then all of the uh, turrets and stuff. So we'll go from there uh, next time. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!